Well, the panel that handles complaints against misleading advertisements for medical products and services has been criticised tonight for failing consumers. Lateline can reveal that last year a third of the companies were found to have breached the Therapeutic Goods Administration rules on advertising, failing to publish, and they failed to publish retractions and withdraw misleading information. Steve Kinane has this report. Fran Sheffield runs a homeopathic practice on the central coast of New South Wales. And she has a controversial position on vaccination. The research we have, and it is limited research, shows that the rate of um, protection that a homeopathic immunising agent provides seems to be similar, and in some instances better than what the orthodox vaccines offer. Uh, in terms of safety, they're way, way better than vaccines. On her website, Homeopathy Plus, Fran Sheffield claims homeopathic immunisation is effective against polio, meningococcal, cholera, whooping cough and other serious diseases. There is no good scientific evidence, to my knowledge, that homeopathic immunisation works. Uh, there is references in obscure uh, journals that uh, you cannot find, um, and uh, there is anec anecdotal reports by homeopaths that it works, but uh, it's not in the mainstream scientific literature. Dr Ken Harvey made a complaint against Homeopathy Plus to the Complaints Resolution Panel. They review potential breaches of the advertising code in relation to therapeutic goods. The complaint resolution panel agreed that there was a breach of at least nine sections of the code and one section of the Therapeutic Goods Act, including very serious sections such as promoting to the general public um, uh, the treatment of serious diseases for which uh, there was no evidence of efficacy. The complaints resolution panel asked Fran Sheffield to remove the claims about immunisation and to publish a retraction which included the statement We did not provide adequate evidence to support the claims made in the advertisement and the panel found that the claims were unlawful, misleading and unverified and breached the Therapeutic Goods Advertising Code. But Fran Sheffield has refused to publish the retraction. She says she wasn't advertising, merely providing information and sufficient evidence to back up claims about homeopathic immunisation. I'm providing the evidence on the website. I think you've had a chance to go and read the historical usage in our recent trials on it. But say, they say that evidence doesn't stack up. It's not good enough. It's not strong enough. Well, obviously, I'm disagreeing with them, and that's why the retraction hasn't gone up. Fran Sheffield is not alone. In 2009, a third of those found to breach the code failed to comply with the panel's recommendations. If a failure to comply is reported to the panel, it goes back to the Therapeutic Goods Administration, or TGA. But what happens next is a mystery. The TGA does not publicise what action it takes. It's unclear why the Therapeutic Goods Administration is not not transparent at all. Uh, and certainly it's annoying to people who put in complaints. Uh, you feel that it's hardly worthwhile. And it certainly encourages uh, the sponsors to keep on doing bad things. No one from the TGA was available to talk to Lateline, but in a statement said... The TGA is actively working to improve the transparency of its regulatory processes and will be publishing its actions relating to handling of complaints referred from the CRP. The TGA also confirmed that no legal action had been taken over non-compliance. But reform could come soon. The Australian community is entitled to, to expect that an advertising complaint system will be timely, transparent and have teeth, and I'm not sure we have that at the moment. We're now in a position, I hope, in the near future, as I've indicated to those players, of publishing options for reform that we think will address uh, all of those issues in one fell swoop. But in the meantime, practitioners are able to continue to make questionable claims about various remedies without fear of sanctions. A recent Homeopathy Plus email alert was headed Homeopathy as good as chemotherapy for breast cancer. Steve Kinane, Late Line.